afternoon everybody um it's vlogmas day six i did skip day five and i apologize for that but as you can probably tell from my voice i did not get any better yesterday than i thought that i did i actually filmed like one part of the vlog like the intro in the morning then me op opening some of my packages and i'll put that in this vlog but i thought i was fine yesterday morning and i woke up feeling better but then my body said, oh, never mind. You are not better yet. But I'm feeling a lot better today, minus the fact that my nose won't stop running and I can't stop sneezing. But like, other than that, I don't feel sick. I'm just like in the last leg of this. But I feel fine. I think it's just like a head cold or a sinus infection. Um, I just wanted to intro this vlog. It's been a while. I made a smoothie this morning and then we watched. I watched church with my family or with my parents. And then, um, I literally have been blowing my nose non-stop, and I just took, um, DayQuil or like an hour ago. So that's been helping, that's why I have a break in my runny nose, and I'm able to film this. But I start work again tomorrow, so I wanted to, um, I don't know, I'm just updating. But I think I'm gonna hang out with Emily in a little bit. So it shouldn't be as like boring as the last one but just wanted to say hey and update you i'm gonna put in the clip of me opening some packages yesterday um yeah i don't know it's already um 2 15 and i'm just like i haven't had a break in my nose running until like now so sorry uh, hopefully Vlogmas picks back up this week with more fun stuff instead of me being uh, terribly ill. Anyways, I just wanted to say hello and explain what's been going on. And I guess I'll see you like later today. I did some damage on Black Friday and Cyber Monday doing presents for people and also purchasing some stuff for myself so a couple of things came in the mail and i wanted to show you i'll start with this sweatshirt i haven't even opened any of them yet i went to the university of dayton and there's like it's not really a bar school we have like a couple bars that we would go to but the number one bars is called tim's or timothy's and all my friends have sweatshirts from them but like they're either red or green and I don't think I looked good in those colors so I never bought one and I really wanted black or navy or white and they just never had them in stock and then they restocked the na only the navy for Black Friday like literally look how ghetto <laughs> this is freaking classic um I just ordered I ordered the navy and usually you like like, all my friends that ordered on campus, you have to go to Tim's to pick it up. I didn't even know they shipped them. And classic Tim just puts it in a grocery bag. That's so funny. Um, yeah, that's just like a sweatshirt from the bar. And I just wanted to have it from college. And it's so funny. So I just got Navy extra large you know the drill timothy is bar and grill that is literally so funny dayton ohio that's so classic okay it's from man it's from abercrombie so i would hope it wouldn't come in a plastic grocery bag that's hilarious i've been needing a new pair of jeans and they were having a sale 
And then this um, blogger that I follow on Instagram, Bree Shepherd, has a code with them. I had them in my cart and I wasn't gonna get them, but then I saw on her Instagram, she said that her code works on top of the sale. So then I got um, them on sale and then 15% off on top of that and they were like almost half off so i just got them and i need a new pair of jeans anyways so these are the 90s straight ultra high rise curve love they're really cute i really like this wash i don't have any jeans this wash and they are a size 27 curve love they're cute and then they're just regular length cutie okay that's the first of my many packages i have another one coming from set active which i'm really pumped about and then a bunch of christmas presents that i won't show because people watch these videos hi when you were in the wrong found this song on tiktok and i love it i'm back in the car i am going to pick up emily and we're going to go downtown if you live in pittsburgh you know market square has the cutest christmas tree in the middle of an ice rink so we're going to go check that out probably not ice skate but who knows what we'll get into we're just going to go look at uh christmas and feel some christmas joy you know but just wanted to give you guys an update and share the news that i've officially left my house for the first time in two days. Hey, good for me, right? I don't know, but I'm really feeling the Christmas spirit these days. I've watched so many Christmas movies, and, but like none of the classics. So I really need to get on top of that. Clockwise? I think you just go clockwise. Are there arrows? takeout because we're ill also we've gone through like seven Kleenex boxes hey something's going around Pittsburgh so hide your kids okay um finish this video out here I'm looking not my best so please excuse my appearance I'm about to go to bed but I wanted to come on and give um my next two I should probably do three but I'm just gonna do two I'll do two tomorrow too just to catch up but I wanted to give um, my Hallmark movie reviews I'm having a lot of fun doing these and I don't know I'm just having a good time let's do an eh one and then we'll do another good one I'm gonna do Christmas in my heart but Christmas in my heart was Pretty, a pretty decent movie with this country music star whose wife had passed away and he moved back to her hometown with his daughter. He was kind of like hiding away and everyone knew that he was there but no one really bothered him because they knew what, what had happened. And then this girl comes home because her mother had passed away and her mother was in charge of the school music program. And she comes back and she's like a professional violinist. I think that's how you say it, but um, in between gigs. So she comes back and she like takes over for the Christmas show and whatever and starts tutoring his daughter who plays the violin. And so obviously they fall in love and blah, 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 blah. And I'm sure you can guess there's some sort of conflict and they work it out in the end. And then they kiss at the end, right at the end, because that's when they kiss in Hallmark movies. I thought it was pretty decent. I think the the 
woman actress. She was really good. I've seen him in other things, this lead guy, and he is so much better in other things. And I don't know what it was in this movie, maybe the director, or I don't even know. But he's been better in other things, and it was like fine, but the chemistry like really wasn't there that much. Like, okay movie, and I enjoyed watching it. I didn't hate it like I hated Christmas at Castle Heart. I just wanted more from it, you know what I mean? I really liked it too though because it was a biracial couple and it, I love the inclusion that Hallmark is starting to do in their movies. Gotta love it. So, here we go, this is the hard part. Romance, cheesiness, and Christmas spirit. Romance, I'm gonna give it a six because like, it was cute but they didn't have a lot of chemistry. So, it was like eh. You know, six is like pretty middle ground. Cheesiness, my cousin Leah, you said you think that cheesiness, more cheesy should be 10. But I think the less cheesy one of these movies is, the better it is. That's why I'm putting them, putting less cheesy at 10 instead of one. I hope that helps if anyone else was confused. So cheesiness, I'm going to go with a six again because it wasn't too cheesy but it also wasn't it was no five more minutes like that movie just top tier in my hallmark christmas 2021 movie list you know can't beat it and then for christmas spirit it was actually pretty cheery and i'm just gonna give it a six again this movie was so middle middle of the line like nothing was really great about it and they've done movies where they're where they've um had like country music stars and they've just done it way better like jesse metcalf mm. john tucker must die mm. love him but he just plays that role better and they should have casted him just saying so all together i'm just gonna throw in another six so middle of the line like it's okay okay and then this was a good one this next one an unexpected christmas Chef's kiss to this one because mm, it was good. To all my One Tree Hill fans out there, Haley James Scott has moved over into the Hallmark movie realm and I could not be more excited for her. I love One Tree Hill. So having her on my screen again. So this one is called An Unexpected Christmas and it was very, it was pretty good. I will say it's up there with five more minutes but not quite as close these two were dating they had broken up then or he had broken up with her and so then she is going to his hometown on like coincidence to cover a story or an event for her job so she runs into him and he hadn't told his family that they had broken up and she didn't tell him that he she was going so he's coming home expecting to tell his family like what had happened and then while his family's picking him up from the train station she walks out and they're like oh my god and the family thinks that he had surprise brought her home for christmas and they had already met her they love her whatever so they're like so excited to see her and then they get caught up in this lie and like they're trying to tell everyone that they're not broken up because he was helping her with something that had gone wrong for the event and it was blah 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 and he's a writer, a speech writer and he's trying to write a speech and of course he can't write it until he falls back in love with her. Of course, he, could, he didn't have the words until he knew that he was in love with her. Classic Hallmark, you know? It was just such a classic storyline, similar to how classic uh, Christmas at Castle Heart was but not as overdone, you know what I mean? This is like a classic storyline, but in a different way, a different twist. Romance, they did very good. I'm gonna give it a solid eight, very good. And they had good chemistry and their banter was funny. Cheesiness, wasn't too cheesy. Wasn't too cheesy. I'll throw it a seven, not too cheesy. It was pretty good, pretty good. It's like top tier for Hallmark Channel. And then Christmas Spirit. It was like Christmassy, but like not over the top. So I'm gonna give it a six, middle of the line for Christmas Spirit. It could have been more cheery, but it did make me wanna go outside and go like ice skating and make sugar cookies and ice them and 
you know, all of that cheesy cliche Christmas stuff that you always want to do after you watch one of these movies. All in all, I'm gonna throw it an eight. It was pretty good and I enjoyed watching it and it was one of my favorites so far. There you have it, An Unexpected Christmas, eight out of 10, and Christmas in My Heart, six out of 10. Go ahead and watch Unexpected Christmas, Christmas in My Heart, watch it, don't watch it, that one I don't really care about. But I just wanted to say thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I'm sorry I've been ill and it's been kind of boring slash I haven't been on YouTube. I would love it if you could like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me. And I'll see you tomorrow in my next video.